We have breaking news out of Miami, Florida, developing overnight where Donna Adelson has been arrested. This just one week after her son Charlie was convicted for his role in the murder for hire plot that took Dan Markell's life. She's currently being held in the Miami Day Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center, and this is on an out of county warrant. Now, this was huge news, a big development in this case in the late hours of the night. And here to discuss this case with us in Tallahassee, Florida, criminal defense attorney and former federal prosecutor Tim Jansen and host of the Surviving the Survivor podcast, Joel Waldman. So good to have both of you on today. Joel, I want to start with you because last night you were going live on your podcast with this news uh, in the middle of the night, really talking about it. You had Tim Jansen on, so we're so glad to have you on this morning to talk about it. You were mentioning the information you had from your sources about how this arrest took place and where it took place. So what's the latest that you've been learning? Julia, thanks for having me on this morning. I got to say, Tim Jansen, my uh, partner in crime, so to speak, has been invaluable in this case. But we got word last night. I had just finished a podcast actually remembering the Moscow murder victims. Of course, it was the one year anniversary of that event. And uh, as I got home, um, probably around 8.39 p.m., uh, we had a source tell us that they thought that Donna Adelson had been arrested in a short time after that. A second independent source uh, who I reached out to had heard the exact same thing, and they were getting the information from different people. So it started to make me think as a former broadcast news guy that uh, where there is smoke, there is fire. And uh, it was a very difficult decision, you know, now that I'm kind of part of this alternate media, not traditional media, you know, do you go on um, and tell your followers uh, what is happening? And we decided collectively uh, to do a podcast last night, uh, which ran close to midnight, if not later. Uh, and in fact, uh, throughout the course of the show, and I was stressing that these were coming from independent sources, we actually had a third very well-placed source during the show tell us that and then lo and behold uh before the show was over actually uh, just about halfway into it we did get confirmation we saw the actual arrest form she was processed don adelson was through the turner knight guilford correctional center uh here in miami i reported miami i can tell you that is not a pleasant place to be very hardened criminals murders rapists uh offenders of that like so it was a very stunning evening. No one thought this would happen, and certainly no one thought this would come exactly one week to the day after Charlie Adelson was arrested. It was uh, convicted. pretty surprising news. Tim Jansen, let me ask you, because we have this out-of-county warrant. It doesn't show mm -hmm. on the booking information her charges. Uh, we know a grand jury may be convening in Tallahassee in the next couple of days. Can you talk about what the process may be for her and what what prosecutors have to do in moving forward? Are these charges? Is this because she may have been at a location where they were worried about flight? Um, my information is that, and I got this information at 840 from a very reliable source, that she had been arrested. She had a one-way ticket to Vietnam through um, Dubai with her husband. My understanding is that Jack Campbell made the decision after doing some investigation about extradition from Vietnam, which is lengthy and complicated, to go ahead and, and make the arrest. She's currently facing murder, conspiracy, and solicitation charges in Leon County. Um, this is very damning evidence for her. It's going to be admissible of trial as evidence of guilt and flight. Um, the one-way ticket, um, if she was smart, she probably should have done it before the verdict because maybe Jack wouldn't have uh, gone ahead and arrested her. But after that verdict, it was expected with all the information and the groundswell that, char that Donna was going to be charged. So her flight now at this point is very damning and very uh, bad for her case. So many eyes have been on Donna Adelson from the beginning, from 2016, when federal agents were watching her. The prosecution built their case 
around Donna Adelson being the head of this plot for hire. They didn't hide that, even though she wasn't charged, even though she was not sitting there in the defendant's seat next to her son. We heard her name, Joel, you were there inside of the courtroom throughout this trial. We heard her name more than we almost heard some of the other players in this case. I wanna just take our viewers back to part of that FBI investigation into Donna Adelson. They chose to start with her when they wanted to shake things up with this family to see if they could get information. Let's go back to that moment. Mr. Adelson? Hey, Joe, I just want to give you this. Um, listen. You? <laughs> scared. No, don't be scared. Listen, I just want to let you know that uh, we know that your family uh, has been taking care of Kate. Joel, you've been covering cases for and stories for a long time, Emmy Award winning journalist. Have you ever seen a case where the FBI is investigating someone like this in 2016? They have all of this evidence. They really don't have, from where we, can, we sit, any new evidence. And it's not until 2023 that we're seeing charges roll out against that person. Yeah, it was a really long time. Obviously, the murder happened back in 2014, so we're talking nine plus years. Uh, this is really an unusually long period of time, but it's amazing how quickly the dominoes, the Adelson dominoes, are falling. Again, Charlie convicted on these first degree murder charges just last week, and then exactly a week later, Donna, you see that uh, mugshot of her. And um, it is really uh, something to behold. I'm just hearing from, you know, Tim Jansen about this Vietnam uh, escape plan. Uh, that is new to me. I had not heard that. Apparently, she was going through Dubai. We talked on the show last night. There were reports that the family had possibly gone to Italy during the trial, which I found hard to believe. And so we didn't know if the arrest was with her coming or going to Miami International Airport. But if Tim's sources are correct, it appears that she was in fact trying to flee. Um, one thing of interest, I do have a source very close to this investigation who said that there was already, and I have to confirm this, but this is a source telling me that there was already a presentment by the grand jury um, to the state attorney's office that happened previously. So that would basically nullify this week's grand jury meeting, which was supposed to have taken place on Wednesday. And then another source telling me that the feds, that they had eyes on the Adelsons this entire time. So perhaps they saw them leaving their South Beach apartment with luggage in tow. And uh, that's where they followed them to the airport. Ultimately, we know now that an arrest was made. Right. Uh, to your point, Joel, it was pretty shocking to learn about the airport part of it. Tim, we were there in the courtroom and wondering why we never saw Donna Adelson. We never saw Harvey Adelson there supporting their son during this murder trial. Do you think they could have been in, uh, interviewed or even Donna Adelson picked up if they had showed up in Tallahassee for this trial? That's a great question. Um, I think we this case really needs to go back to the FBI getting that Title III wire because it was two years after the murder. And that Title III wire, which then they tickled it with the bump, started getting the recordings of Donna, which implicated her. Um, the interviews were, was, were dropped by Georgia. We had that, they were gonna interview Harvey and Donna. She decided not to do that. And I believe at that point, the state had decided they were gonna possibly charge Donna. So they didn't wanna give her the immunity that they had given Wendy. So I think it, it's been a while that they had been looking at Donna. And I think if Don, Donna wasn't gonna get anywhere near the courtroom, she wasn't gonna get near Tallahassee because I think she knew what was happening. Her problem was her travel plans were about a week too, too late. And Jack Campbell, the state attorney decided, I'm not gonna fight extradition from Vietnam. We're gonna take you right now. 
And this is very damning evidence in her case. That is some fascinating information about the ticket. I know there were some rumors swirling about whether or not they were in a different country during this trial that we weren't able to confirm. But now we know where she at least was as of yesterday, and that's in Miami.